What's going on everyone? Pro Digital Gear here. And we have a very, 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 very important announcement. If you own an Epson SureColor P6000, 7000, 8000, or 9000, an either standard or commercial edition, you're gonna wanna upgrade your firmware right away. Why is that? Epson's next batch of ink will not work with your printer. So for example, if you own any of these printers and you run out of some cyan ink and you purchase a 700 mil cartridge from either us or any Epson dealer, there is a potential that that ink cartridge will not work with your printer. Actually, there's potential that your printer might not work at all. So to avoid any of those complications, update your firmware ASAP before you run out of ink. And don't worry, it's super, super, super simple. Right now, we're gonna show you how to do it on our Epson P7000. This is the 24 inch standard edition. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go on the internet and go to epson.com. Then you would find your printer. I like to do this by going to the search bar. So I'm just gonna type in P7000. Then I'm gonna to go to the standard edition and go to the support tab. On the support page, you'll see there is a download section. And in that download section, you can see firmware. Now, it is very, very, very important that you download the proper firmware for your printer. So for instance, if you have a P6000, then you would wanna search the P6000 on epson.com, then go to the support, then go to the downloads, and download the firmware there. Also, don't forget to pick the proper operating system. It'll most likely already be selected for you. If you're on Windows, make sure you have the proper version selected. And if you're on Mac, same thing, make sure you have the proper OS version selected. Here is the current firmware update software. All you have to do is go over and click download and let that fully download to your computer. If you're on Chrome, you can go down to the bottom left corner and click this arrow button here and go to open. Either way, you wanna find the software on your computer and run it. So in the first box here, it's just telling us that this software will allow us to update the firmware on our printer. So we'd wanna go ahead and click next. And then we wanna go through the software license agreement. Then hit I agree and click next. Now these steps right here are very important to follow. One, turn the printer on. If the printer was already on, then what you're gonna wanna do is turn it off and then turn it back on. So for instance, if you were making prints and there might be some in the queue, it says right there, you wanna make sure that there are no jobs in the print queue. Whether it's by network or USB cable, Make sure your printer is connected to your computer in the ready mode, and then you can go ahead and click next. In this window here, your printer should pop up. Right here, we can see the SCP-7000 series. You can click on it, and then simply hit start. The next window that pops up is asking you to confirm. Go ahead and click yes, and then yes again. Then there's a little green process bar at the top. Make sure that it is complete completely done before you click finish. Once you click finish, that's all there is to it. Most likely your printer will restart and then go back to the ready screen. That's it. Now there are several ways to check and make sure that your firmware updated properly and to the most current version. First, you have to check the firmware version number that's listed on the download page of your printer. Write that number down. Ours was LN00 eight and five. You could then go to your printer. I believe you could print out a status sheet or you can go into the menu system. I believe it's in the admin menu, but there is a menu option on the printer to check the firmware version. Make sure that those numbers match up. In this picture here, you can see right on the screen of our printer, it says the firmware version is LN008 and five. So we know that our P7000 is now up to date and we don't have to worry about installing new ink cartridges in the future. Just to recap, if you have the Epson SureColor P6000, 7000, 8000, or 9000, 
in either the standard or commercial edition, you need to update your firmware on your printer in order to use Epson's next batch of inks. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to assist you with this update. Feel free to comment and ask us questions below. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. And end scene, cut. <laughs>